Okay, it's a bright, hot, sunny day. Well, <clears throat> getting hot at least. And I'm in Mount Angel, bicycling around. Just gonna wander around until the food bank opens up. And my gear just shifted into a higher, harder gear. Great. Um, never really recorded these parts. I wanted to get a quick, quick capture of some of um, some of this road. has a focus. It has a focus on uh, Oktoberfest. This is probably the main Oktoberfest road. Police stations on the left. There's this 24-hour uh, bathroom that's kind of nice. It makes it easier to hang out. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. Okay, it looks like uh, St. Mary Catholic Church's doors are wide open, so I'm gonna sneak in and get some video of the inside of it. Very tall, you can see it looming over the horizon from a distance as you're coming in from Silverton. I'll probably have to be quiet. All right, uh, they're doing a tour. That's why the doors are open. That's probably why there's a bus over there. I didn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm not really a part of the tour. I can't just sit in on it. So that's it. Okay, it's 9:20, 9:30, pretty much 9:24 in the morning, and I'm walking up the Mount Angel Abbey's um, walk 
of uh, Jesus's um, last days, last weeks of life when he carried the cross, whatever, whatever that movie is, uh, with Mel Grip Gibson, um, Jesus is, I don't know, it's all written in German, um, so yeah, just gonna see if I can, just, I don't know, see if there's anything I missed up above, okay, uh, Mount Angel Abbey's mute, uh, graveyard, um, the thing that interests me is that you can pray in here. So we got a prayer, a kneeling design, and then this. I guess that's the, the sound of bell. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that sounds a bell. Alright. <laughs> you gotta really pull on it. Oh, what's over there? book room <clears throat> scented candles
Okay, Mount Angel Abbey again. Uh, I think school's out or something. Damien Center. Wasn't he a devil or something? Very bright and sunny. This clock tower is visible from probably a mile away. I could see it as the first uh, sign of this place when I was heading back to Silverton. It's a pretty good size. Oh, the doors are open. <laughs> you can let yourself fit right on in. I can ride my bicycle right on in. And you can hear all kinds of crazy patented music that probably get trademark violations on YouTube. <clears throat> Yeah, I just gotta climb these stairs. I'm gonna have to park my bike here. Came from over there. Yeah, it's covered by a lot of mist, but the uh, mountain, I forget what its name is, but it's still covered with snow. Wonderful cold snow on a nice hot day like this. I see this door is open. I'm going to take a quick peek. I believe it's the library.
Looking at all that over that vast farmland from the Mount Angel Abbey and Seminary, I just can't help but think, you know, farming is the basic uh, element of, of work that all humans fall back on. I mean, that's what keeps us going, what keeps us alive is that food and uh, all these inventions and, and cr crazy cultures that develop and fads and stuff just don't seem to mean much uh, without the, the backup of, of food. Um, when farming got better, we got more free time to turn to other ventures that are exploratory and experimental. But before that, people were really reliant on, on farming. And uh, it's, it's uh, something that I appreciate. I, I really I like to learn more about it. I'd, I'd like to, to get involved w with it. It's, it's such a, a foreign type of d discipline. Uh, uh, and I only have had a minimal amount of experience with it. Um, they don't get a lot of press coverage. Uh, unless something terrible happens, of course. You know, drama queens in, in the news like to only bring up the, the stuff that's going to shock you. Uh, but, I mean, I'd, I'd like to know the boring moments, too. Um, there's got to be some value in that. Um, just getting more in tune with farming. And it upsets me how it's really largely ignored. And maybe because it is ignored, more people have turned away from it and turned towards the big cities because the media has present has stopped presenting farming as a as a, a f functional and, and enjoyable lifestyle. It, um, I believe that movement may have started in the 70s when I looked up Green Acres on Wikipedia. They talked about how the media abandoned a lot of the, the countryside types of shows in favor of big city um, studio apartment type um, shows. Okay, heading to the food bank. It's one o'clock. Um, yeah, I don't know if, that, if you can see that stain on my shirt. It's visible on my back too. And um, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's a risk I take with with uh, a white shirt. But I, I uh, today I, I took a nap um, after running around a little bit, and, and then uh, went to the library at 12 to wait till one. Now I'm running over to the, the food bank, hoping that they got enough to uh, help me finish out the month. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's it. I got my food. Now heading back to my car. Gonna get back to the library before it closes at five and just play on the internet. It was a pretty good haul. It feels like about I don't know if it's in this bag there, maybe almost ten pounds or so. I had to turn down a lot. A lady recognized me from last month um, <clears throat> when I grabbed the raw eggs and said I was going to eat them. She said she was worried about that and I ate them and got sick.